my research is related to um, uh, myotic misegregation events in yeast and in humans and um, about 30% of um, um, spontaneous miscarriages in uh, human females are associated to genetic events, events that uh, we don't really know uh, what is the reason behind them so far. We have an idea about uh, why they happen, but we don't understand the key players in this. And I'm performing a high flood genetic screen just to find new genes that are involved within this mechanism. Um, so I'm working mainly with yeast and um, I'm looking at uh, gene knockouts where each knockout um, is responsible for a different function and um, the idea here is to see if a knockout is going to increase the levels of uh, unemployed and missegregation in yeast. Um, and based on the screen itself, uh, I'm investigating different hits um, for future work in embryos, in human embryos. Um, so I've been working with uh, the Phoenix Microscope for over a year now. Um, and um, it's been a pleasure to work with uh, Nina, my one of my supervisors, uh, in here who has helped me a lot with the actual work, and with Michael Lisby, who's been also responsible for just helping and guiding me through the research itself. So this uh, Phoenix Microscope is uh, super important to me because um, it uh, provides high resolution images at uh, an unprecedented scale. Um, and it is also capable of imaging thousands of uh, different locations in under half an hour, uh, which is very crucial for my research when I look at uh, many different uh, gene knockouts and I'm taking large amounts of images uh, exceeding more than two terabytes of images at this point. So these images that I'm uh, getting from the microscope itself, I'm identifying single uh, cells from them and then later on uh, identifying the different colors associated to each spore uh, and based on the distribution of these colors in different spores, I can identify different um, chromosomal events uh, that happen during meiosis. And the research itself is also seems to be a gray area where our understanding is still uh, lacking behind, so there's a lot to actually contribute, uh, which is only possible because of the technologies uh, that uh, are recently been uh, purchased by the university.